Unger the Radar, bringing movies and people together, one frame at a time. Hey guys, I'm Randy Younger, and this is a very special episode of Under the Radar, bringing movies and people together one frame at a time. And this is actually a very special episode. It's actually a collaboration with uh, my fine uh, gentleman here, Mr. Matt Haverin, aka Kid Champagne. Hello, Kid Champagne. Hello there, Randy. How are you? And thank you. This is a very special um, crossover, Under the Radar, and uh, a nostalgia time with Kid Champagne. Um, normally, I don't say my full name for it, but this is definitely for one thing. Uh, this Kid Cham- my name, <laughs> Kid Champagne, Matthew Haberman. In regards to this, um, it's this one is a very big tribute. Yes, um, yes. So, uh, Randy, you take along and yeah. So this is a, an extremely special episode uh, because uh, unfortunately earlier this week. We lost a very uh, valued member of the entertainment community, Mr. Paul Rubens, uh, a.k.a. Pee Wee Herman, or you could flip that as Pee Wee Herman, a.k.a. Paul Rubens. Mm. Um, but uh, Mr. Rubens, uh, he did pass uh, last week uh, at, at the age of 70. It was um, pretty sudden. However, he was battling cancer for six years. And finally, it took, the, you know, it, it took his life. Uh, but he's he's left behind such a, a, a great legacy, so many laughs over the decades, especially, you know, we're all in the same age group here. So he, we definitely know his movies, we know uh, his shows, his cable shows, and uh, also of course, Pee Wee's Playhouse. And of course he's actually here with us uh, in plastic form. And uh, I thought it'd be great if he could just join us. And uh, and he loves us, that's that's really great. Uh, we love We love you too uh mr rubens <laughs> yes so he's going to be here for uh, with us tonight uh we have a lot of special stuff uh planned uh but first we we have another uh guest here with us mr jared albert hello sir welcome back to the show hello thank you great to be here yes and i'm sure that uh paul has has touched your life as as strongly as he's touched ours um yeah. i just want to go around real quick uh between the three of us uh, so, Jared, what, do you remember the first time you encountered Pee Wee Herman or Paul? Yeah, I, in the show, I believe. Um, and, uh, yeah, just watching it. And I remember the intro um, as a kid. Um, with like the stop animation, kind of. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know, it just brings back a lot of memories. Um, and then, you know, when I got older, I started following him. And, um, yeah. Yeah, started watching a lot of his, uh, recently started watching a lot of his interviews, his late night interviews, um, as Pee Wee Herman and as Paul Rubens. Um, yeah, no, a lot of childhood memories. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He impacted us all. Uh, Matt, how about you, some early memories? The earliest memory was when one day Saturday morning cartoons came on and this show Pee Wee's Playhouse came on. And I don't know, it was just a very random show. And I loved it. And I, every Saturday, I just couldn't wait to tune into more of Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> and I I just loved every. It was just very creative. Mm-hmm. One thing I, I loved is like his scooter. And I just loved that the helmet, like at the end <laughs> of it, I was like, I really wanted that helmet. I don't, it was a very weird helmet. I think it had like an eyeball or something. I, I, I forget. I, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen Pee Wee's Playhouse. But my earliest memory was Pee Wee's Playhouse. Mm-hmm. And then uh, watching all the movie, his movies that he was in. Um, Pee Wee's Big Adventure was totally a hit. I love that film. Mm-hmm. Um, so is Big Top Pee Wee, but yes. also growing that he was also in Batman Returns as um, Tucker Cobblepot. As Tucker Cobblepot. The and Penguin's dad. Not Also to mention that he was also the voice, uh, one of the voices in The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's true. Yes. Thank you. for Yeah. Wow. Was one of the little trick-or-treaters. <laughs> and you, you can just hear... And I love putting on the the song "Kidnap the Santa Claus" because that's 
I think that's my favorite song, actually, from the soundtrack, that, to, to be honest. He was in that with him and <laughs> yeah. Danny Elfman and Catherine O'Hara. O'Hara. Right, right, of course. So, yeah, um, he actually, yeah, he has a very, had a very strong relationship with Tim Burton. And mm-hmm. that is why we're we're meeting. Part of the reason why we're meeting tonight is to do a little commentary on Tim Burton's first directorial effort, uh, which was Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Uh, 1985, uh, a really zany comedy, which took the 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 character of Pee Wee to the big screen, and it was really an experiment to see how uh, how far can this go? This collaboration between Burton and Rubens, and it worked so well that they would extend their their uh, car- their relationship to Batman Returns, and uh, like you said, Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, there's one thing about this that I want to put in there. There is a club, a very elite club. It's the Tim Burton Club, whether you're a Tim Burton gal or a Tim Burton guy. Mm-hmm. And the title, Paul Rubens has the title of being the first Tim Burton guy. Yeah. Because Pee Wee's Big Adventure was Tim Burton's first director film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess in a way you can call him his first protagonist. Um, wouldn't call him, I mean, I guess you can kind of call him a hero. He's not kind of in the same vein as, as Batman, but... Um... I just call him a Tim a Tim Burton guy. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Jared, what do you think about um, the, the Tim Burton club, the Tim Burton guys? Like like the the Tim Burton like the is like the usual crew you mean or like the people correct right, the usual go. crew yeah yeah no it's interesting I never thought of Paul Rubens as like the original guy <laughs> or first ones um, but yeah it's true uh, Steve Buscemi right uh, doesn't he use him uh, or he, he's used him a few times um, in Big he Fish was, he was in Big Fish um, I can't really recall other maybe he was. Uh, well, Christina, R- Ricky, Richie, um, um, and of course, um, what's his name? Michael uh, Keaton. Oh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, I was going to say. Well, yeah. he's like the king of the Timbers. Yeah, Burton. he's like the king. Right. I yeah. mean, I would like to think that that Michael Keaton is the king of the Burton universe, but um, in terms of movies that a, a certain actor has appeared in, directed by Burton, Depp... He easily, you know, wins yeah, that. Yeah, Johnny Depp would be the go-to guy, would be right. at the top of, like, the Tim Burton Hall of Fame. Right. But if you want to really think about the first person into the Hall of Fame that would really make the first class of the Tim Burton Hall of Fame, it's Paul Rubens because he selected him. And he was the first, he was the first in his, in his first role. Yeah. And still, and he had, and he was used multiple times as Tim Burton. Right. So he was a, a, a go-to Tim Burton guy. Right. I mean, he only used him in, I think, just two movies. Uh, but it, it should have been... Three. Like, oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Three. Um, but yeah, it, it would have been nice to see him in more like starring roles. But if but, you want to think about the... If I had like a first class in the Tim Burton Hall of Fame, you have Michael Keaton, mm-hmm. Paul Rubens, Catherine O'Hara... Of course. And Johnny Depp. Right. Those are the go-tos, for sure. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I think we're about ready for the screening, guys. What do you think? I am ready. <laughs> so, Jared, you have the film on Amazon Prime? Uh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Okay, cool. So, we have it here on the Fire TV app. And, um, yeah, uh, everyone watching and listening at home, this is going to be a commentary, an audio commentary with video. So you don't have to watch us. You could just listen. But um, we will be watching the movie uh, in sync with each other. So, yeah. Uh, Jared, are you at zero right now? I am. Awesome. So uh, I'll count down from three. And when I when I say play, we'll all press play. And uh, we'll get the party, party going. <laughs> right. All right, guys. So three, two, one, play. As we come here, this was a Warner Brothers picture. Yes. Now, Warner Brothers is also uh, Tim Burton's baby. <laughs> they go for him. He directs a lot of... Well, he didn't He didn't give, you know, 
create the company, but he is known for his Warner Brothers films. As he is known, Pee Wee Herman, <laughs> Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I love that they don't even credit him as uh, Paul Rubens. <laughs> Danny, Danny Elfman. Elfman. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm going to add Danny Elfman to of the Hall of Fame first. Oh yeah. Well, and also, Jared, we, we didn't mention Jeffrey Jones, but that's a different uh, topic. <laughs> but yeah. a, a, he was was a go-to Burton. He, he, he would have been. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. So I love this score. Also, this is um, Danny Elfman's first uh, film score. And so. also with this also, um, Paul Rubens was also a writer in this. So he had some yep. influence on this as well. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, we see the nice Eiffel Tower. By the way, I've been to Paris. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Les Tour de France. <laughs> Can you hear the sound coming through on your end? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, hold on a second. Those are nice. Those are weird helmets for the Tour de France. Oh, there we go. There's uh, Pee Wee Herman. Uh, Jared, no, you're you're good. I don't hear your audio. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> This must <laughs> <be screen. laughs> it's great. And what do you know? You know, I wonder how this movie uh, fares with the the bicycle enthusiasts, like bicycle clubs across the world. I'm I'm sure they love it. <laughs> hmm. Finis, is he going to win? <laughs> Great, great cue to open the oh, movie. Pee Wee Herman wins the Tour de France. <laughs> and that actual, the bicycle in this movie uh, is actually on display at a bicycle museum uh, somewhere in the middle of the United States. I forget what the state, but it's it's on display. <laughs> and there we go, crown king of France. <laughs> Oh, and he's <laughs> time to wake up, Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> oh, it was a dream. <laughs> Look at that room. I. I <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry, but that would scare the jeepers out of me sleeping with a cow skull in front of me. <laughs> oh, let's do your exercise. Now, is this supposed to be the same house as Pee Wee's Playhouse? No, it's a different house. It's a okay. different house. Okay. That's what I thought, because it looks nothing like it. It's like <laughs> modeled or something. <laughs> this is oh, look. You, oh, we got a Gumby right there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and... <laughs> Spec. Let's go have a doghouse right inside the house. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, the breakfast machine. Great yep. by Elfman. Mm -hmm. Mm. <clears throat> but then again. And so funny thing about this score by Elfman, uh, since it was a different studio for Big, Big Top Pee Wee, they, he was not allowed to use any of his themes from this movie. So it was a completely new score, but none of the themes were used from Big uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Just like the automatic toast, oh, there goes the eggs. Pancakes. Very um, Tim Burton. Reminds yeah. me of the cookie machine from Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. Look at all these random things in here. You want to talk about nostalgia? This. <laughs> it's a giant toothbrush. A giant toothbrush. <laughs> well, you gotta brush your teeth some way. Might as well have a giant toothbrush. <laughs> 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 it's 
squeezing out the orange juice. I will start the day with orange juice. Hmm. Oh, got a feature dog too. <laughs> I'm not sure what this was for, but let's be weird. <laughs> <laughs> Very burden. <laughs> so Jared, uh, checking Jared, the weight. Jared, how are the um the interviews of Rubens that you've been watching lately? Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was watching. Uh, Don't leave the uh, house today. There's like a Letterman collection of all of his appearances on Letterman. Nice. Uh, some of his uh, Conan stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Was he ever on Carson? I, I don't know. I don't really watch Carson stuff. Yeah, I'm a fan. I mean, uh, he was great, but mm. I wonder. If, yeah, the Mr. T cereal. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. T cereal. Mr. Breakfast. <laughs> How are you, Mr. Breakfast? <laughs> 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 My cereal. Was there really a Mr. T cereal? It must have yes. been. Yes. Sure, yeah. Weird uh, promotional tie in. I guess that was, <laughs> it was a Batman cereal. It was a Ghostbusters cereal. Yes, there still is a Ghostbusters cereal. <laughs> sure be oh, look at that. Just even with that big fork. <laughs> I have Batman cereal. Oh, you do? From what? Oh, yeah. the 89 movie? No, from the Batman Returns, I think. Series. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, our mutual friend Dan Quenqua, last time I was at his house a number of years ago, he had the uh, box of real Ghostbusters cereal. Nice. <laughs> Just look at the outside of his house. I mean, it's a really nice house. It is. Let's see the rocket ship, the totem pole, the. the... Oh, the. <laughs> um... The, the the garden sprinkler, you're gonna see the the hoses like fly in di different directions. It looks exactly like something from Beetlejuice or Nightmare for Christmas. Oh God, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so Burton. Well, I like how he is. He's very polite with the neighbors, saying, "I'm gonna water my lawn now <laughs> with the sprinklers." But I gotta say, the neighbors are very considerate of him. Yes, they are. It's like psychotic man child. <laughs> <laughs> I must say the house is very secure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and oh, it's like a Batman thing. Oh, yeah. there it is. There the it is. Grail, the bike. It's a modified Schwinn. Uh, Forgot the the name the the title it has like a number. Did they ever have these for sale? Because oh. I would have loved this bike. Oh yeah, I mean I'm sure they did. Of course, <laughs> of course. If I said my wife would call me a weirdo, but let's just put it this way: Pee Wee is the most famous. Pee Wee Herman is the most famous weirdo ever. <laughs> I agree with that statement. I'm sure they you could find it on eBay, but it'd be ridiculously expensive. And that's. That's the thing about with the with Paul Roman's character of Pee Wee Herman. He promote he like I think one in one of the other he said it's okay to be weird or <laughs> don't ever stop being weird. It's okay to be weird. Yes. Makes sense. <laughs> 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 Probably <laughs> Pee Herb. Nice. Yet those license plates do nothing for your bike, <laughs> unless you have a motorcycle. Oh, oh this guy. Here go, his name, I, Francis, right? Yeah. Francis. Yeah. He was in an episode of Seinfeld, actually. This guy. Remember? Yeah. 
I Ooh, love the mailbox. He was in the, the, the bakery with the babka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were all going to the same party together. Yeah. Your job. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can have anything you want. Well, <laughs> Perfect. I think he was oh, also yeah. Teen Wolf. In what? Oh, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf, yeah. He was... um. I think he was Michael J. Fox's friend. <laughs> Two. Two trillion dollars. <laughs> no, you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> and this is the, you know what I gotta say, Pee Wee Herman knows how to win an argument. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, <clears throat> I wouldn't yeah. sell my bike to him. I mean, it's his bike, it's his way. If he doesn't want to sell it, that's his choice. Of course. He loves that bike. He's not going to sell it. It's his <laughs> really, I don't think so. <laughs> Look at him traveling through the park. <laughs> I wonder what park that is. Yeah, somewhere in California. <laughs> and now I think Pee Wee can see if he can try and do that. Yep. <laughs> it is a cool bike. I, I will give you that. <laughs> I think for what it is, I think one bike company may release that bike as well, maybe, to sell. Well, 2025 is going to be the 40th anniversary of this movie. So maybe we'll get some cool merchandise. Maybe. Maybe a reissue of this young man. <laughs> I, I would think that Funko would, oh. would be a cool pop, a pop ride to Pee Wee Herman on that bike. I will, I will buy, I would buy that for sure. I love that bike. <laughs> Oh, here we go! All the child, all those little childhood rides—they still exist today. Mm. <laughs> oh, the clown! Oh, the <laughs> clown! And there we go. You gotta be secure and lock up your bike any way you can. And <laughs> Pee Wee Herman takes no chances. Have a lad. Oh man. Well, <laughs> like I said, very secure. <laughs> Not secure enough though. <laughs> And what shop are we going into first? <laughs> the magic. Oh, the magic shop. <laughs> you know, I have not seen a magic shop. I've there never you... been into a magic shop. I, I don't know if it's still there, but on Queens Boulevard, going towards the city, there used to be a magic and hobby shop. Yeah, I used to go to a magic shop as a kid. Uh, I, I remember the photo of you, Jared. Yes, <laughs> I used to be a magician. <laughs> <laughs> the great Jared, was it? The amazing Jared. Oh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> it does look like a fun store, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, look at her saying he's so weird. X-ray specs. 
<laughs> and there he goes to oh it comes out with a new box what do we got into that could he be interested in ooh a squirting flower <laughs> fake blood <laughs> so <laughs> no. <laughs> well, they did use a squirting flower in, in Batman. Side note. That's true. Side note. A boomerang bow tie. <laughs> 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 As he comes out, bike's still there. Bike's still there. <laughs> Chuck's bike o rama. <laughs> I will I I will say this for anyone who is riding a bike. I know everyone in here except for those BMXers in here, always ride with a helmet. Yeah. James Bond kind of stuff. Oh, he needed a horn for his bike. Okay, so I'm looking at the IMDb. Let's see. I'm looking at the filming locations. Uh, oh, it was all shot in California. The mm. outdoor mall scenes were in Santa Monica. Mm. Kiwi's house was in South Pasadena. And um, there's a few other locations that are coming up in the movie. We'll get to those in a moment. <laughs> I never knew that was E.G. Daly. E.G. Bailey? E.G. E. Daly. Oh, 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 yeah. She's uh, the voice of... Um, uh, Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I don't think she did much live action. She was in Better Off Dead. Huh. Well, that's a good movie. Same year, I think. Sis. Wow. Big year for her. Huh. A rebel. She wants Pee Wee. So we, that'd be a is, weird couple. <laughs> Pee Wee plays hard to get. I know. And then as he comes out, <laughs> I'm afraid to find out what happens at this. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wait, did the clown have a new face? Yeah, he had an angry, like, sadistic face. Oh, no. Why? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and all the bikes go down like a domino. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call everyone for the fire department every day. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, that is the best they can do for a stolen bike. I mean, they can take a report and everything. Hmm. And now all that Pee Wee sees is people with bikes. 
Oh, a nice little adult tricycle. <laughs> Another bike. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, pantomime with a unicycle. Pizza boy on a bike. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Oh, and he sees, oh, thought he sees, but it wasn't his bike. It was another person with a red bicycle. But who would have his bike? Oh, there comes two with a tricycle. <laughs> I mean, what <laughs> a bike that was. <laughs> uh, a three person bike. <laughs> a remote cop bike. <laughs> This is like torture. And then bicycles. Wheels. Huh. <laughs> 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 So inside the magic shop by the front entrance is a picture of Elvira played by Cassandra Peterson, who later plays Biker Mama in the film. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I think they were friends in real life, uh, Rubens and oh. There's a picture of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I've seen that picture. Yeah, that's cool. I will also mention this, that Pee Wee Herman did appear on a, on a show on WWE. On oh Ray. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pee Wee Herman. That's on the screenshot. Yeah, it's funny. By the way, what is like, the secret yeah. word? What <laughs> the secret word in Pee Wee's Playhouse? I'm just putting it out there. You know the secret word, and then everyone who says the word, they drunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, didn't it change? Every, didn't the secret word change every week? It did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me and, and I believe this actor, the, <laughs> the security guy, was in Last Action Hero as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that bath is like a swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it is. It is. Got it. Nice. Mm. And there it goes. <laughs> Nothing. He knows something's up. <laughs> and here they go. <laughs> to be honest, you be fighting Francis. <laughs> Francis is a wimp. Yeah. I swear, I think Francis is a liar. <laughs> well, he is. Oh, and there goes the security. He wait. Say, what's going on? <laughs> He did it all right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm 
Why wouldn't I want to apologize to Francis? Francis. So apparently, I'm back, I'm on IMDb trivia. Um, Elizabeth Daly or, or E. G. Daly, right, Jared? Yeah. Uh, so when they were wheeling out uh, Pee Wee Herman on the gurney in the bike shop, her face went completely white. Uh, after filming the scene, uh, Rubens asked her what was wrong. Apparently, she was having flashbacks of her boyfriend, <laughs> John Eric Hexham, being we wheeled off, off set on a gurney. He accidentally shot himself while filming Cover Up, 1984 movie. So, wow. Th that's pretty intense. <laughs> Or E.G. Yeah. Wow. Honey, you're right. 10,000 more for anyone information needed to be the recovery of a stolen bike. 10,000 dollars. 10,000. And there you go. There's your proof. That's he, he's the thief. <laughs> Just get rid of it. Where are they going to get rid of it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like the whole town. Yeah. Jared, keep your eye open uh, for um, a Seinfeld uh, supporting actor. Okay. <laughs> Actually, there's a few, but in this scene, there's one in particular. Pieces of information. <laughs> oh. oh <laughs> missing from this picture? With that one? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing Larry. Amazing Larry Jared. Does he look familiar to you? Oh, I did it. He did it. <laughs> but uh he's got the colorful mohawk. Yeah, yeah. No, he didn't look familiar. He might be uh a particular uh proctologist. Oh wow. With uh certain uh nameplates on his car that were mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ass man. The ass man, wink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, <laughs> bored to death. It's a pretty big basement. <laughs> Just realized. <laughs> As you know, with this, it has no <laughs> like boom. <laughs> Three hours. And this actor, uh, who plays the bike shop owner, I believe he was the the uh, undercover cop on the subway train in one of the Seinfeld episodes. Oh, oh wow! I'm pretty please, please. Yeah, <laughs> everyone cheers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very cheesy. <laughs> oh yeah, that is the uh, proctologist. <laughs> yeah. And Lily and and like that's it. I've had enough. Hmm. He's going crazy. <clears throat> I think he's. Oh, that's hard. 
God. And I love this. I know where this is being, this scene is filmed at Warner Brothers Studios. And you know who's going to make a quick cameo in this scene? A certain director, Mr. Tim Burton. He plays one of the street toughs about to mug uh, Pee Wee. Look. There he is. There he is. That's Tim. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the same set they use in Batman. A lot of the directors Pretty love sure. to be like have those cameos in their own films. Love you know, it. from Alfred Hitchcock, which cameoed in every film he made. Mm -hmm. Indeed. The Master of Suspense. I feel like that's Tim Burton in a way, too. I feel like that was one of his mentors was um well I wouldn't mean, uh, he relates to yes I'm sure he's an inspiration <laughs> he, that's a very angry sermon <laughs> right there <laughs> that is <laughs> and then pays money. Now all these psychics <laughs> are fakes. <laughs> all are fake. And then she looks up. Where? Someplace far away. <laughs> and then she sees me. Um, the Alamo. The basement of the Alamo. <laughs> oh, we will know something about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember the Alamo. <laughs> the, the stick and, and bag. <laughs> Thank yeah. <you. laughs> Hitchhikers. Don't pick up it with the... Oh! The Lone Star State of Texas. This is trying to get to Texas. I would not be. I would <laughs> not be laying the road like that. Yeah, right. Not a good idea. Well, here's an uh, interesting bit of trivia. Corey Feldman was originally offered the role of Francis Buxton, but turned the role down due to scheduling conflicts with the Goonies. Paul. Mm. Rubens as Pee Wee Herman did did visit the Goonies set once as both films were shot on the same lot. <laughs> oh. oh man, you got it in the car. What do you you know what you know what those handcuffs? He looks familiar. He does. I don't know his name. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Wait, I think could that be the actor who played Gomez Adams. What is his name again? No, it's not. <laughs> Paul Rubens was in uh, Tim Burton's Batman Returns uh, and the Batman-related series Gotham. In each, yes, he was he, Gotham. He, he he plays did. both plays different versions of Penguin's father. Yes. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's going to annoy the heck out of him. He'll be so unfair. <laughs> 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 
Reminds me a little bit of The Rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it a little bit. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> <laughs> and there you go and you see his bike right by the oh there god <laughs> that's heartbreaking <laughs> well it's an adventure to find the bike <laughs> Oh, Mario, the magic shop owner, is named after Mario Baba, who is one of Tim Burton's favorite and most inspirational filmmakers. Hmm. The law. The law. <laughs> I can't believe he's going to help him. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a pervert. Well, we did him a favor. <laughs> uh oh. I do not like this at all. <laughs> If I was Pee Wee Herman right now, I would dump them right on the front of the room. Yeah. yeah, don't drop the soap in the big house. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I'm a rebel. <laughs> Definitely some deja vu. <laughs> so the story of this movie is actually inspired by a 1948 movie called Bicycle Thieves 
which has a very similar uh, plot where nobody, the police can't really help the, the main character. So I, I love this part right here. It's like a little bit animated cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Where you just see the little, little green eyes go. <laughs> I think we're coming up on large Marge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Large Marge from Pee Wee Playhouse. I'm not sure. Was she in that? I'm not. I thought there was a character just like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Back to the trivia. The Mr. T cereal was real. They actually they did not make that up for the film. It was an actual cereal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was definitely real. Yeah. Never seen. <laughs> 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 was like this. Hmm. Oh. No. <laughs> Very Beetlejuice right there. Yes, it was. <laughs> I mean, he loved using like claymation with real life, all this. Yeah, back in the 80s, that's like, and early 90s, that was his trademark. He should really do more of that. I think the last time he really did that was uh, Corpse Bride in 2005. It is possible that he may do it again. We will see. We will. Be sure to tell Large Mark sent you. Ha 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 ha. And for some reason, dinosaurs were like a theme in this movie. They show up like in random scenes. <laughs> that looks like Dino Land, if I might say so myself. Dino Land. The Wheel Inn. At least you can get a room there and get a nice meal. Hmm. <laughs> 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 That's a... Oh, and this actor, I believe, was in Beetlejuice as the janitor. Yeah, he was, he was, yeah. Janitor. <laughs> it was 10 years ago. <laughs> in a large march. <laughs> so open the handbook. Ghost. You seen a ghost? <laughs> oh. I wonder if that truck stop still exists. So, um, film critic Gene Siskel rated this one of the worst films of 1985. 
and even slammed it in a worst of 85 special on his TV show at the movies. And he said the following, for me, Pee Wee's juvenile, juvenile humor, I guess works better in seven minute skits on, on error. Uh, that's the only conclusion I can draw from my negative response to this movie that just didn't make it for me. Roger Ebert, who had not seen the movie, said it looked funny, though. Today, this movie is seen as a comedy classic. Yeah, it <laughs> is a comedy classic. Yeah. A cult following. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, here we go with this little bag and that little stick. Large March sent me. And so this actress, she was also in Batman Returns in that scene with Tucker Cobblepot. She's Mrs. Cobblepot. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> with the knife as they were sipping near martinis down. <laughs> yes. Thinking about how to get rid of Oswald. Jeez. Terrible parents, let me just tell you. Truly disturbing. But that's Batman comics for you. Yeah. Huh. Uh oh. <laughs> you don't look happy. Is he a wrestler? Do you... He might be. Rolling in a big dough. Oh, true. And I hope you do find your bike. <laughs> There's France. <laughs> you go, uh oh. That must be Andy that's following. I didn't. <laughs> uh oh. Look at this. Lori, Lori Laughlin, Laura Dern, Phoebe Cates, Leah Thompson, and Jennifer Jason Lee were all considered for the role of Dottie. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think they picked the, the right woman for this role. E.G. A prehistoric museum and gift shop suit. Uh oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, Andy, ah, run, Pee Wee, run for your life. <laughs> oh. I bet that phone is made of phone. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes, goes in the train. Oh. 
But where is he going to? And here we have another dream, and there is the bike. Oh yeah, this is scary. <laughs> yeah, this movie kind of scared me a little oh. bit. The claymation again. Well, Tim Burton used to had that kind of like dark comedy. Yeah. <laughs> and there it is. Oh no. <laughs> oh god sardines <laughs> when she comes when she comes <laughs> and now he's getting annoyed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you forgot your stuff? Uh, uh, Howdy, partner. Welcome to San Antonio. This is the historic Alamo. The Alamo. Now, when you visit the Alamo, what is the common question that they all ask? I think you're yeah. about to ask that question. Now, here we have Jan Hooks as the tour guide. She was also in Batman Returns. She played one of the uh, image consultants uh, hired yeah. by, Max Shrek, by Max Shrek to uh, transform the penguin into Oswald Cobblepot. Yeah. Her partner is the guy who gets his nose bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like he was the doctor that he was also used in Rookie of the Year. Where he got punched in the nose, and they say "funky butt loving." Oh, the, the doctor, yeah. Wait, was he in Rookie of the Year? I feel, I feel like I he think was... he was the doctor. Yeah, who oh. gets like the. Uh, Let me check that one <laughs> in the trailer. Hold on. Don't be rude. <laughs> Look at him taking a tour. He doesn't care about anything. Got <laughs> creamed and it takes dry. <laughs> and I think most, if not all, of the her her lines were improvised. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here's the question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is the one question. In, if you go to the Alamo that they ask all the time, the basement of the Alamo. Mm -hmm. And the people, the directors of the Alamo did um, pay their respects to Paul Rubens 
No, there isn't a basement in the Alamo, but there is a basement in their gift shop. Hmm. Nice. But in Texas, all the houses have no basements. Mm -hmm. Actually, in California, too, there are no basements either. Same in Miami. More of an, basements are more of an East Coast thing up on the Northeast, I, I think. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't have them down here. Uh, They're cool, though. I like basements. <laughs> yes, but unfortunately... Having a basement apartment is now illegal in New York State. <laughs> hmm. Off to Paris, but well, what Paris, France? Paris, oh. Texas. There is a Paris, Texas. <laughs> Why would they tell you that stuff in school? Here's an interesting one. Pee Wee's house is only 0.6 miles from the restaurant where Sarah Connor worked in The Terminator. One year prior. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> he Texas. Pee-wee's female disguise was influenced by olive oil from the Popeye cartoons. <laughs> the stars are bright. The stars are big and bright. All in Texas. It's nice that he is admitting to himself that he is apologizing for his actions. Mm. Back. <laughs> Jared That's is one is, angry dog. Is Chip enjoying the movie so far? Yeah, he's uh, sleeping. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Still help you find your bike. <laughs> Again, the hard to get peewee. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Gotta be like seven feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> Hot dog on a stick. <laughs> Oh. No. No. <laughs> oh, God, those must be scary. <laughs> and there, oh. <laughs> Western Pee Wee Herman. 
Well, that's the way to go out. Nice disguise. Oh, oh, oh. Volcano. Oh, no. What? <laughs> riding the bull. He's doing good for bull riding, don't you think? Yeah. But there's also one major, major problem. He is wearing a certain color that bulls attract. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and what does the bull do when it's red? It'll chase him. So this film was released the same year as another Warner Brothers studio feature about a man who sets out to recover his stolen vehicle, Mad, ba Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Hmm. Starring Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson. I remember the Alamo. Remember the Alamo. Hmm. <laughs> so, now we here's have the bikers the upcoming famous sequence tequila mm -hmm. yep classic <laughs> oh boy <laughs> uh oh. No. Uh oh. He ain't using no phone. Is it be on your way? Excuse me. <laughs> we ain't going anywhere, buddy. Oh no, we're following you. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. They just tipped over. It had nothing to do with that. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't say. That one too heavy. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Hang him, kill him, then kill him? <laughs> There's Elvira. Oh. Uh oh. Why not? <laughs> what is that last request? What is he going to put on? <laughs> Nagila. <laughs> <laughs> Just dancing. I can tell you, Pee Wee Herman can dance. <laughs> it's so iconic. Very iconic. Mm -hmm. 
and look at him like, look at this guy. Oh, what the? Oh, break dance. So let's just break everything into oh. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them was like, okay, okay. <laughs> I think this is the way to. Tequila! <laughs> and then all of them, they have like, uh, oh, look, he's got himself a bike now. <laughs> oh no, they're a creature. Oh. <laughs> oh, and then he's oh. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this part really scared me as a kid. The clown dream. Yeah. Very burden. <laughs> oh no, the bike. So oh. now a lot of a lot of kids are afraid of clowns. Yeah. But if you want to stop thinking that clowns are scary and fun, just look up Butterscotch the Clown from Conan O'Brien. They, that butterscotch will tell you that clowns are fun and nice. <laughs> Only your kids. <laughs> what? Butterscotch. You don't want to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> That's a good cosplay. Yeah. I don't know. I would not be doing that. I cannot. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> oh, and there's Francis the devil. Francis. No. <laughs> is that what I think it is? He was in the Wonder Years and also Back to the Future. He found where his bike is. Warner Brothers Studios. <laughs> so the Batmobile so, in the back, the background. And that's in the back. Did I? It was there. The '66 Batmobile. <laughs> Milton Berle. <Burrow. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Just walk right in. Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 
the stage six. <laughs> There's the bike. One of two films released in August 1985 in which a childish character from a TV series goes on a wild road trip and discovers how tough the real world can be. The other film was Follow That Bird. He looks like a spoiled brat. <laughs> and this being heard, that's a nice. <laughs> he plays one mean child actor. Action. Oh, look at his anxiousness in this. You know, he really wants to take the bike. He's on that paper route right now. Stop that gun. <laughs> and in, in contest to it, we can always say, but does it say properly Pee Wee Herman of it? <laughs> They never made any PB Herman uh, video games, did they? No, they didn't. That's so peculiar. That, that's a yeah. They would have like an NES game based on this. Would, yeah, you know, a crappy NES game would have been good. <laughs> yeah. Actually, to be honest with you, if they wanted to, he can say it because I think the license plate that says "Property of Pee Wee Herman" is on there. He has proof that it's his. That's a good point. Oh yeah, there you go. And he has like a million pictures with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want that bike. No, it's mine. Duh. Yep, he knows that's his bike, all right. Did this uh, do well when it came out originally? Um, it, like, let me check. Yeah, and no information about a video game. That's, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they, they, they definitely did it. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, really? Well, yeah. Paul Rubens first, I think, found Tim Burton. Tim Burton found him when he was doing his show on Broadway. So the film was released on August 9th, 1985, grossing over $40 million in North America. It became a cult film and continued to accumulate positive feedback. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, it opened in 829 theaters, accumulating four, over four and a half million over its opening weekend. It went on to gross uh, over 40 million domestically. I guess that's good. Or what was the budget? Let's say budget was. We are soon about to see a band here that budget was seven million. Box office was forty point nine million. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. good. Domestic, yeah. Seven million. That's like nothing. <laughs> I know. Ho ho ho! But back then, you I guess. Would... Film, yeah, do films for Christmas, usually in the summer. Hmm. Oh, there goes the Rangers and Santa. Huh. 
Godzilla. <laughs> 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 oh, here goes Godzilla right on Santa's sleigh. <laughs> Oof. Ouch. Uh. <laughs> there it is, twisted sister. Right. Yeah. Steve Snyder, right? That's Steve Snyder. I think so. Yeah, he was on the uh, Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there goes that car. <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> now, who remembers the Tarzan scene from the great movie ride at old Disney MGM Studios? Sadly, that ride is no longer available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely I was on that the great movie uh, ride. Wait, which way? Well, yeah, which, which, great movie ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios, oh. formerly known as Disney MGM Studios. Wow, it's been a while. <laughs> Got to go back. For early Universal Studios is better than uh, Disney Hollywood Studios, but now that's a simple upgrade with Star Wars Land. Radical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, the pet shop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Save them. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman is a hero. Oh, going back a bit to the uh, studio chase right before it, John Paragon, man dressed in red armor with a high voice, was Jombi and Terry in Pee Wee's TV shows. Huh. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> hey lynn marie stewart was the impatient mother superior in kevin morton's movie is miss yvonne in peewee's tv shows Save every single fish. Oh, and the name of um, the Buxton's butler, uh, Professor Toru Tanaka. Okay. <laughs> He got all them out. Hmm. This, boy, this boy is under arrest. <laughs>
I'm sorry, release him. He did nothing wrong. He just wanted his bike back. <laughs> Fantastic movie. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but who plays Pee Wee? <laughs> Pee Wee's Big Marvel premiere tonight. Pee Wee's Big <laughs> Adventure. Movie within a movie. <laughs> Same title. <laughs> Drive in movie theaters are a thing of nostalgia. There's not many of them left. Right. But the one thing I say if you do, if you do, or if you're near one, it's a great experience. Go to one of them. Yeah. I think I've been to like one as a kid. Mm. One or two. They're very rare. Yeah. Actually, there, there's one that I've just found about uh, in, in the city here, New York, fairly recently. It's called the Skyline Drive-In. So, Skyline Drive-In? Yeah. Where is it? Uh, I believe it's in Manhattan, just uh, by the water, if I'm not mistaken. And it's not a tree driving. <laughs> yeah. And also, Flushing Meadow Park also has one. I'm not sure if it's still around. No, it's, it's not, not around. Okay. Interesting. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what? The <laughs> And A little James Bond like Pee Wee Herman right there. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> oh, the best thing. <laughs> <scene. laughs> Oh, and what's left? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
PW. <laughs> and so the object that they kept, they were trying to find in any movie, they call that the MacGuffin. It's like that 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 object that has so much value that the main characters are always trying to find. Oh. And this obviously it's the bicycle, the McGuffin. <laughs> Bill Hartman. <laughs> he uh yeah. he he co-wrote the script with Rubens. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, sure, sort of. <laughs> He's trying to take all the credit. <laughs> I don't want to, I wouldn't sit on that bike if I were him. <laughs> As a big security measure. <laughs> Oh, Speck has a friend. <laughs> I lived it. <laughs> And there he goes off on his bike. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and there you have it. He was big adventure. He was Herman himself. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth <laughs> Daly. <laughs> BMX kid. <laughs> Arch Munch, Alice Nunn, Hobo Jack. <laughs> I think it holds up. It holds up to this day. Yeah. <laughs> as far as we know, Paul Rubens is watching down on us, uh, knowing for this respect as it is to the Pee Wee Herman himself. <laughs> I am. There may be one day that there will be a movie about Paul Rubens. Maybe more based off the, the, the Pee Wee Herman character. I don't know if anyone else can portray Pee Wee Herman like Rubens did. Yeah. So one of a kind, you know. To this I to this I say right now as the credits are rolling. Yes. I think this is a perfect time in Kid Champagne always does the toast mm -hmm. well for this. So in honor for this, to Paul Rubens, mm -hmm. thank you for giving us the character of Pee Wee Herman and for all the talent that you have given us throughout these years. Yes. We salute to you and rest in peace. To Paul Rubens. Paul Rubens. Ish. I don't yes. have anything. Yeah. <laughs> My cup is empty. <laughs> but it's okay. Yes. So yeah, he really left behind quite a legacy. 
So hopefully through the movies, the DVDs, the TV show, the stand up, you know, that'll it'll be exposed to people of the next generation and touch people, you know, in a in a profound way. So just watching this movie again, it's really um it speaks speaks a lot. It speaks volumes. Yes. Jared, it's, how do you feel with this movie? <laughs> yeah, it's good to see it again. I haven't uh, seen it in a while, but uh, yeah, no, it still definitely still holds up. Mm-hmm. Part, part of the PB legacy. Yes. So with that, I, I felt this was more than necessary to do this commentary tonight. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, uh, to Paul, to Paul. The balls. Yes. And if you want to um, watch more, there is Big Top Pee Wee, Pee Wee's Playhouse, and there is also a recent Netflix film I think came out. Yeah. Um, Pee Wee's Big Holiday, I believe it was. They were also going to do Up, which is another sequel to Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Not a great movie. I, I did watch it when it first came out on Netflix a couple of years ago. Uh, it, it not nearly as good as Big Adventure or Big Top, but still, I mean, you know, it was okay. Yeah, you know. So, Matt, any uh, any plugs? Any anything you want to tell the masses that that you're working on? Yes, tune in soon. Um, I do have our sister pot, my sister podcast, which is Electrifying RKO, starring Kid Champagne in Prime Time. We'll be continuing soon. Um. I'll listen to our on the road series at Yankee Stadium. We had some good uh, matchups that we went to prime time and I mm-hmm. um, to Subway Series and also um, to Rays versus Yankees over this week. We'll have those um, episodes up soon, and also a nostalgia time with Kid Champagne. Hopefully soon, um, we will have our episode, which is a brand new concept where we'll be celebrating. The restaurant company McDonald's. <laughs> Looking forward to that. And also, I think we might be doing another commentary in the coming weeks. In the coming weeks, hopefully, we will have Animal House. And I'm, I would love to start with kicking off with Horror Month with the special film Deadly Invasions, The Killer Be Nightmare. <laughs> yes. And also, another TV movie I want to also do a commentary for uh, The Colony, starring the late, great John Ritter from 1995. So those are two TV movie commentaries that I think are, are in the near future for, for us. Um, also, uh, since this is the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park, I would love to do a commentary for that classic adventure film. But uh, we'll, we'll have more updates for you in the near future. Jurassic Park will happen on this stage of time before its 30th anniversary ends. Yes, of course. Uh, Mr. Albert, any plugs for you, sir? Uh, I'll be at Caroline's. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'll be uh, in the front row. <laughs> yes. uh, no, no plugs. No plugs. All right, fair, fair. Sadly, Caroline's has closed. <laughs> I was just going to say, is it even open anymore? <laughs> no, they least ended. <laughs> yeah, Ugh. Well, as for me, uh, you can catch new episodes of Under the Radar uh, Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on Sirius XM Radio. Also uh, every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific on Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Check it out for for new movie reviews and the occasional uh, interview. So check that out, Under the Radar. Also the Under the Radar YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe and share. So with that, uh, gentlemen, I think uh, that about does it for uh, our tribute to Mr. Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman. So yeah, I want to thank you all for for being here with me to to do this, to share the the love of this this man. He was a, he was a great comedian, great actor, and he will be missed. So thank you, Paul Rubens. Yeah. Thank I you. am Kid Champagne signing off. And I'm Randy Younger, Under the Radar.